And now, a Zone at 91.3, 91 second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and action! In Fast X, or Fast 10, the Toretto family are back for one last ride, apparently in the form of a trilogy. The advantage this franchise has is that it knows that several sequels back it already jumped the shark in a souped up Dodge Charger flying off an overpass with a bank vault chained to its bumper. So if you're a Fast and Furious super fan, you know what you're buying a ticket to and you won't be disappointed. For casual movie fans going into this for an actual cinematic experience, here's what to expect. The story is messy, disjointed, and is a giant setup for, well, I'm not quite sure at this point. I struggled with revealing this in my review for fear of spoilers, but I think you'd be better off going into this knowing that the movie ends pretty abruptly. There's no real resolution after the 2 hours and 20 minutes. Just stops. My hope is that a lot of what's coming next has already been shot and it will be getting a release date soon because otherwise I can't really tell you that it's worth seeing this film right away. Now if you are seeing it anyway or getting dragged to it, here's how you can get some enjoyment out of it. Turn your brain off. Actually, you know you can take your cues from Jason Momoa. He's clearly the most enjoyable aspect of this film because he emanates the vibes of an actor who knows what kind of ridiculous movie franchise he's entered into and he has as much fun with it as he can. And the amount of fun he's having as a sociopathic villain is infectious. I see so many captivating characters in his performance, from Jack Sparrow to the Joker, that I kept wanting more scenes from him and was thrilled that we got a lot of them. Regardless of your fandom level, if you're going to see Fast 10, I'd advise you to just sit back and enjoy the ride three last times. Cut! That's a wrap!